Hey race fans, before I get started in this video, I just sincerely want to say thank you. I reached out to all my Kickstarter people, my past customers on websites, and all my close personal friends on Facebook and asked everyone to be a subscriber and my number count jumped. So that's awesome. Uh, we're about halfway there, really trying to get to a thousand and that's just hurdle number one. But in any event, that's what we're after. So I again want to say thank you and I truly appreciate you subscribing to the channel and caring one iota about what I have to say, even if you don't care, you're watching. That's cool. I appreciate it. So thanks. Hello race fans, Brian Davis, Brian Davis Races. Uh, I just thought I'd do a super simple, very fast video about what some of the screens mean in Zwift. So let's take a look at it. I am actually in a workout right now. So my screen's a little bit different. Uh, I've got the workout data over to the left. And so that shows me all the upcoming sessions or intervals I need to do for that particular workout. Tells me what day I'm on or the, or the name of that workout, I guess, because I'm doing the FTP builder at the moment. Uh, huh, I'll slow down a little bit. <laughs> so then uh, over to the uh, center section, it's got some data. Now I'll show you what it looks like to be in a regular workout or non-workout, or just a ride, just ride as it's called. Uh, and the screen is a little bit different. So. Back to the workout. During the workout, you do not get power-ups. Clarify a couple other things. You do not get uh, draft assistance when you're in a workout. And, but people can draft off of you. So you can see everyone else's name that you're riding with at that particular time. Um, now, in the non-workout, the just ride sessions, you can view life from their camera, uh, which is kind of fun. So you can see where they're at, especially if you're riding with somebody. I will say this, huge tip is to get the Zwift mobile app on your iPhone. So we'll just turn you around here and you can see my setup. It's really, really basic. So I just got some shelves. There's a video on kind of what I set up there. I know I've talked about this a hundred times, but it's the greatest thing on earth. So my little remote control uh, fan on, off, that's all that is, but huge difference. I always start cold, especially coming to the basement. And then after a few, a few minutes, it's nice to be able to turn that on. So the Zwift app can run uh, a lot of different features. So there's the, it's called the Zwift mobile link is what you're after there. In a second, this will switch over to the um, Zwift mobile app. There's an app you can click, the power ups would come in that screen there. So you could click that with your finger and that would activate the power up in game. All right, let's break in here real quick and just do a deep dive on what the power ups mean. So within that little circle on the screen, if you pass through a, uh, an archway on occasion, you will get a power up. So start finish line and I think a few other archways tick those off for you as well. Uh, but the way they work is the large red circle gives you extra rider points or experience points. XP, you'll see it uh, fly up and say plus 30 XP or plus 60 XP or plus 10, 15 or whatever the case is. Um, and then the smaller pink circle with the plus sign in it, same size circle, smaller plus size sign in it is the smaller bonus so that just gives you less points then there's a green circle with a feather in it that one's much sought after so that is will reduce your rider weight for 15 seconds theoretically making it easier for you to go up the hill uh, not theoretically it absolutely makes things easier for you to go up a hill so you should use that if you have it in a hill trying to keep up with the group so then the draft boost is the uh, darker blue circle with a picture of a van in it. So that will give you um, 30 seconds where your opponents are creating a larger draft that you are enjoying for 30 whole seconds. All right, then a 
lighter weight or teal kind of color with an aero helmet, and that's an aero boost that will give you improved aerodynamics for 30 seconds. I'm not quite sure what the math is on the difference between the draft boost and the aero boost in terms of uh, actual wattage help that you get or assistance. Okay, and then the last one that is no longer active in Zwift, um, and you may or may not see it as time goes on with this video, but it's a brown circle with an icon of a burrito in it, and that one would make you undraftable for 10 seconds. So again, no longer in the game, but the theory there was that you uh, could bridge up to a group and not carry everybody with you without them earning their keep. So kind of a cool concept. I really, I, I didn't, I thought that was kind of neat. So it was uh, expired before my time, but when I read about it, I was like, that's really cool. So cute, clever concept, but it's gone. Oh well. All right, let's get back to it. This button here is to do a U-turn. That will pause the workout, uh, especially handy. Oh, especially handy right now because <laughs> it gets the erg mode disabled so I can actually pedal and speak. So you've got your turn inputs there. Okay, my janky way of getting a screen recording didn't work out too well on the mobile. I know there's a better way. I'm not worried about it right now. But anyway, um, I missed a few. So there's a bell. There's the waving. There's the thumbs up or right on. Um, the hammer just makes your guys say, hammer time. And then toast just says, I'm toast. And smiley face uh, just says, nice. I'll, uh, I'll do this. We'll put this in. It'll make sense. I'm toast. I'm toast. Nice. Nice. Right on. Right on. This works is this app needs to be on the same Wi Fi network as the Zwift computer that you're on, and that's pretty much it. You don't necessarily need it on Bluetooth. In the app, you can do messaging to the group or race that you're in, or you can direct message people in your circle of trust. This will show you the Zwifters nearby. Uh, when you're not Zwifting, you can look at everyone who is Zwifting and get the same screen and click into that person and give them a right on. Way to go, Kevin. Uh, and then Zwifters you follow, of course, are it's over there. So in here, there's settings, notifications, privacy sensors, finds Zwifters, can set up goals. Uh, yep, so monthly, weekly, distance, time. Not something I care about. You can see your activities and the activities of people that you follow. So that's a great way to go through and give everyone a thumbs up. Look into that. So, let's see. In the map, uh, in the map, in the upper right hand corner, you can click that map and there's a couple different views to see your zoom settings, which is really nice if you're doing a Zwift quest. So I'll put a link to a video I did on how to do a Zwift Quest and what a Zwift Quest even is. It's really, really cool. You should definitely check it out. Let's see, I think that's all I'm gonna show you. I'll, uh, I might think of some things later when I do the editing and, and then I'll uh, record through the computer with screenshots if there's anything else. If you like what I had to say today, hit my thumb. If you love what I had to say, subscribe. That'd be great. Really, really trying hard to get over a thousand subs, so help me out with that. And then uh, if you don't like what I had to say, bye-bye.